And here's what you're gonna do. Looking at page 66, your chart, as a reference from yesterday, I would like you to explain on your own, Medicine X, Medicine Y, and Medicine Z, and then look at those four phases. Do you think one will affect prophase? Do you think Medicine Y will affect anaphase? And why? You need to explain why and give evidence to support your answer. So turn and talk. You two work together. You two work together. You two work My opinion is that Medicine X would mostly affect pro, meta, and anaphase. We're gonna start our corner strategy where you're gonna be working with between the groups, okay? I'm going to assign you A, B, C, or D that matches a phase. When you go to your corners, this is very important. You need to bring your science journal with all your notes. You need to bring your discourse prompts and a pencil. You do not need your lab books going to the corners. Now you have a particular phase that you're looking at. Does that fit medicine X? Y, Z, or more than one. There's an element of debate that happens in the four corner strategies that doesn't occur in other strategies. After they formulate their answer, two students will stay and they'll present their, their group's answer to other groups that visit their particular poster. And in this uh, interchange that happens between the visitors and the presenters, their answer becomes richer and it elevates the student's thinking. As a teacher, I find that the benefit of the Four Corners strategy is to promote discourse or discussion about a scientific topic. I find that it is a scaffolding means. They build upon what they have learned and they are challenged by the questions that they are getting and then they can revise their thinking or take it to the next level. It really requires higher level thinking problem solving, and scientific inquiry. I started the Four Corners strategy based upon a driving question. Our driving question was based upon a question that had to do with mitosis or cell division. So for example, our driving question that started the Four Corners strategy was, given three medicines, which phase does it most affect? And there can be more than one answer. That's the beauty about the corner strategy. The thing that I find most effective about this is at the end of the Four corner strategy. When they go back and they have looked at what they've added to their information, what they've changed to their information. For example, you can see that these, this group went ahead and they emphasized this and then they realized, well wait a minute, this doesn't actually fit. So they changed their thinking they, from what they experienced in the questions that came about. So it allows them to get to a more concise and better understanding of the question. Metaphase because it meets in the middle and anaphase. Yeah. For medicine X, right? Yeah. I agree. And for, yeah, like Ms. Stafford said, like, they all cure cancer.